Good evening. Uh, can everybody hear okay? We don't have a mic set up, but this room projects real well. So my name is Andrew Toland. I'm the Director of Communications for the Manchester School District. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to this event. So before I get to the ceremony, I want to offer some big thanks to the Manchester uh, Masonic Community Center for hosting this event for us tonight, uh, free of charge. Uh, when we were looking for a place to do this, uh, they, they stepped up and offered, and um, we're incredibly grateful to offer the space that they also did all the setup for us. So um, we are, are very fortunate tonight to be joined by a number of district employees, elected officials, uh, and uh, active duty veterans, as well as uh, active duty and, and veterans, uh, including uh, here tonight on my left, Superintendent of Schools Jennifer Gillis, um, Mayor Joyce Craig, and to my right, Major General uh, David Michalides, uh, Captain Arthur Stoff, and Colonel Alan Aldenberg, also Chief Alan Aldenberg, but not in this capacity tonight. Uh, also with us here tonight, uh, we have uh, Memorial Principal Sean St. Ange, uh, West Principal Richard Deschard, uh, from the Board of School Committee, and I apologize if I leave anybody out here, but uh, Jim O'Connell, Peter Perrick, uh, Karen Sewell, Gary Hamer, and Julie Turner. Uh, so uh, before we go ahead here, uh, I just want to give you a little bit about the ceremony. Um, I'm expecting it'll be about an hour, uh, so it won't take up your entire night. Uh, we'll have a few speakers who will come up after that. We'll then uh, bring each student up individually to be recognized. I want to note that we'll be taking a photo of each of the students with the mayor, the superintendent, and the general. Uh, but after the ceremony, you're welcome to stay if you'd like a photo with your family and, and um, one of the, uh, the folks here. Um, so uh, as, uh, as I've been able to do these events uh, the last couple of years, one of the best parts is hearing from families. So it's really easy to see uh, when, I, when I've asked families about their, uh, their students, um, the pride that, that they have in you um, for all that you've accomplished so far in high school and all that, that you're going to accomplish out in the world. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a very, uh, it's a very big decision to, to join the, the military or uh, to, to go to a military academy and, and uh, I don't think anybody here takes that for granted. So uh, with that, I'd like to bring up our first speaker. Uh, so it's the superintendent of schools, Jennifer Gillis. So good evening. Um, I am incredibly honored uh, to be here this evening to recognize the commitment uh, that our students have made to serve our country. Um, this evening, we are recognizing students who are going to Army, Army National Guard, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, Air Force Reserves, and the Naval Academy. This is an incredibly impressive list. Over the years, your teachers, your principals, and most of all, your family have worked with you to lay the groundwork for you to take this step. But none of those people could take the last step for you. You took that step, and you're taking that step on your own. This was a decision you needed to make and commit to. It is our job as a school district to make sure that you have the tools and the experiences to make such, such big decisions as this be successful for you. Military service is something that's quite familiar to me. It is near and dear to my heart and I just want to give you a couple reasons why. My grandfathers, my father-in-law, and my husband have all served or are currently serving. I understand and respect your level of commitment far deeper than I can probably express in words. As a family member, I can place myself in your shoes. As a, place, yourself in, place myself in your shoes a bit as I supported my husband through two deployments. To those of you who are serving, thank you. From the very bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you are giving to our country. To the family members supporting your service member, please know you are not alone. Over the two deployments with my husband, I found the resources and supports around me incredibly helpful and humbling. Please, as you go through this journey together, remember you are not by yourself. You have a lot of people who are here to support you. Our students, 
As you head off in the coming weeks and months, I want to make sure that you know that your community is incredibly proud and honored to have you as members of our, as members of our community. Your decision to serve is absolutely remarkable. You are leaders and role models, and we could not be more proud of you. It is my absolute pleasure at this point in time to introduce our next speaker, which is Mayor Joyce Craig. Well, good evening. It's such a pleasure to be here with all of you as we celebrate and honor the Manchester graduates who have chosen to enlist in the military next year, or this year. Uh, you are about to start a journey of patriotism to support and defend our country. I want to thank all of you for your dedication, commitment, and willingness to serve. And please know our gratitude and support extends to your families. The City of Manchester has a rich history of honoring those in our military and celebrating those who have served our country. There are schools, parks, bridges, and American Legion posts named after military leaders from Private Henry J. Sweeney to Christos Kalivos to Herman Gossler. <clears throat> I hope these reminders spread throughout our city show you how much the military is ingrained in our community. And as you carry on in service to our country, please remember the city of Manchester is behind you and supports you. You have important work ahead of you. Thank you all for your dedication and commitment to our country. We wish you all the best. And to the parents here, you must be incredibly proud of your children who signed up um, right out of high school. It's really incredible and we're so tremendously grateful. So I wanna take a minute uh, as well to recognize uh, a few people here. Um, as uh, Andrew mentioned, uh, Chief Alderberg, Colonel Alderberg is here with us tonight. We're grateful for that. Uh, Chief Alderberg has 32 years uh, in the Massachusetts and New Hampshire National Guard. Um, and then we have Alderman Mike Lopez and Bill Roy here representing the American Legion. They have uh, done so much for our community in terms of recognizing uh, military service and our veterans. Uh, we are tremendously grateful to have you here and for all that you've done for Manchester. Um, and I now have the pleasure to introduce uh, the Adjutant General of the New Hampshire National Guard and a Manchester Memorial High School graduate, Major General David Michaelides. <laughs> And if you don't believe I went to Manchester Memorial, you can look at my soccer coach right here, Coach Perrick, who coached me on the field. Uh, back in the day, it was grass, not turf, but um, we did our best uh, to uh, had a pretty good run our senior year. But first and foremost, to the high school students, um, thank you for doing what you're about to do. But more importantly, to the parents, thank you for instilling in your children the values that have inspired them to be here today to make this extraordinary commitment. Welcome to the 1% Club that tiny sliver of our population who from generation to generation choose to serve in the military and defend our way of life. Always remember that servicemen and women, past and present, are united by an oath to the Constitution, a love of country, and a willingness to sacrifice for something greater than themselves. They all realize that wearing our nation's uniform is a privilege. It represents America as well as generations of hard work and sacrifice to help ensure the safety, security, and good standing of our nation. G.K. Chesterton, a famous English poet and writer, once said, the true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. Every one of us in this profession knows that this is the absolute truth. We love our families, our communities, and our nation. But more importantly, we love our freedom. Our service is simply to preserve the freedoms that we as Americans cherish so dearly. Unfortunately, as long as human nature exists in its present form, there'll be no no need for men, there'll be a need for men and women such as yourselves. I can't thank you enough for your military service and defending what is behind you. As you embark on this journey, there will be highs and lows, monotony mixed with moments of sheer joy and anguish. Those experiences of protecting a free people in our constitution <coughs> will help shape the rest of your life. And someday, when you take, have taken off that uniform for the very last time, you'll have earned their esteemed privilege of being called a veteran. Thank you for your commitment to serve, for being on the team, and for everything you're about to do. God bless to you, your families, and more importantly, God bless America. Thank you.
So uh, while <clears throat> it's far from a perfect process, uh, we hope to have identified all of our students who will be uh, either entering military service after graduation or attending a military academy. Um, some of the students uh, who are not able to be here tonight, uh, but we'd like to recognize them nonetheless. So the first one, um, and if one of you is here and I missed this, please yell out. Um, but from Memorial High School, uh, Allison Domino, uh, who's uh, entering the Air Force Reserves. Uh, also from Memorial, uh, Sushan Corolla, uh, who's serving in the US Army. From Manchester School of Technology, Louis Negron, Jr., uh, who's joining the uh, Marine Corps. And also from uh, MST, Louis Fermin, who is also joining the Marine Corps. <clears throat> so uh, now for everybody who is here, oh, actually, I'm sorry, one more who, who said they couldn't be here. Also from MST and serving in the Marine Corps, uh, Colin Ertminger. Uh, so for the students who are here, when I call your name, uh, I'm going to ask you to come up to the front to be recognized. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to ask um, Dr. Gillis, Mayor Craig, and General Michelides to stand over here. So I'm going to have you guys come on up, get their certificate from Dr. Gillis, uh, and then uh, we'll get a quick photo. And once again, uh, please feel free to stay uh, afterward if you'd like a photo uh, with your family, with, um, with one of our guests here. So uh, our first, uh, Theodore Deal, West High School. <laughs> Theo is a second degree black belt. He is third in his class and a member of the National Honor Society. He served as class treasurer and as the commanding officer of the NJROTC program at West High School. Theo will attend the U.S. Naval Academy at Annapolis. So, next up, Ella Hansen, West High School. Ella has been a three-sport athlete every year at West High School, competing in cross-country, indoor track, and tennis. She's played viola in the orchestra and is a member of the National Honor Society. She's the Safe Sports Ambassador for West and also volunteers at nursing homes. Ella has been involved in the NJROTC at West, serving as Chief of Staff and was captain of the marksmanship team that went to nationals this year. Ella will serve in the U.S. Army. Benjamin Badge, Memorial High School. Benjamin plays soccer and, according to his father, keeps busy with activities including woodworking and wood burning, playing video games, and spending time with his pets. Ben will serve in the U.S. Army. Christopher Collins, Memorial High School. Christopher's mom told me he knew at three years old that he wanted to be in the Army. He officially enlisted during his junior year and competed, completed basic training last summer. He will soon be promoted to the rank of private first class. Christopher has a passion for vehicles and his focus in the Army will be on Army, Army vehicle mechanics. Christopher will report to Virginia after graduation to complete his training. <laughs> Madeline Peterson, Memorial High School. <laughs> Madeline is a runner uh, who participated in cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track. She's the president of Memorial's Best Buddies program and volunteers with Manchester Challenger Baseball. She will attend East Carolina University in the fall, majoring in security studies and, mil and minoring in military studies, while also participating in ROTC. Madeline will serve in the Army National Guard. <laughs> William.
Jim Petro Memorial High School. <laughs> William enlisted in the uh, New Hampshire Army National Guard's 39th Army Band as a French horn player and has been taking part in recruit drills. He's been a musician since the fifth grade and is part of Memorial's marching band and concert bands as well as the Wyndham Swing Band. Micah Reinhold, Memorial High School. <laughs> Micah has played baseball since he was five and competes on a citywide wrestling team. He's a Boy Scout and is currently working on his Eagle Scout project to benefit the Memorial High School baseball field. Micah will enter the Navy and train in South Carolina to support the Navy's nuclear program. Matthew Wilson, Memorial High School. At Memorial, Matthew was captain of the football team and wrestling team. In wrestling, he was the city champion in his weight class. He loves the outdoors and any physical activity. Matthew is planning to serve in the U.S. Army. So I believe that's everybody, right? Okay, so uh, that's actually gonna bring our ceremony to a close. We got through it a little bit faster than I, I thought we would. Um, so uh, on behalf of the Manchester School District, uh, I would really like to thank everyone who joined us here tonight. Uh, families, you're welcome to stay and take some photos. Uh, to the students and families, uh, I hope you enjoy the closing days of this school year, uh, all the ceremonies and celebrations that go with it, uh, and have a great evening. Thank you.